I'm Phil Mann. I'm here to talk to you about Ashdown's wonderful Rootmaster range. Uh, today's focus is going to be on the EVO2, a wonderfully lightweight amplifier, 5.5 pounds, that's available in 3, 5, and 800 watts. So this amplifier is immediately a weekend warrior's dream. It's one of those things that you can pick up, throw it in the back of your car, go and play all night, a nice solid aluminium chassis that's going to be powerful, articulate, and most importantly, light. You're going to have some discs left in your back once we're finished. Let's get a little guided tour of the front panel and give you an idea of what's going on in this amplifier, because it's a much more user-friendly amplifier than what you see on the ABM. It's nothing against the ABM, but this is much more about plugging in and getting great sounds incredibly quickly. Now, whereas with all amplifiers, you look at the input section, active and passive inputs are available to you. Now, they're absolutely critical in modern amplification. Why? Well, because of on-door preamps. If you look at most guitars these days, you can have plus or 12 dB on bass, mid or treble, so you've got to be able to pad that, and obviously the Rootmaster has that fitted. Now, one of the nice little things that's quite unique to this range, which I'm, you know, I personally love, um, is the mute switch. Now, if you look at the ABM, you've got a lovely bright blue LED to let you know where you're muted. In this case, the branding takes a little twist. Now, anybody that knows Ashdown will know straight away that VU, <laughs> that VU meter just says one thing, British engineering. Well, that orange glow that we're so used to actually turns to a blue when it's muted, which is a really tasty little feature. Now, if you look at the next door to that mute switch, we've also got the EQ in, that's the five band EQ, and also appreciate, which is on the preamp. Now, when it's out of the system, your uh, signal is completely flat. When it's engaged, you get that stereotypical scoop in the midst. The smiley man face, as it's known over there, if we're gonna use an Americanism over here, we just call it a scoop. Now, what goes on from there? Well, let's talk about the actual EQ side of the amplifier. Um, where we're used to a nine band EQ on the ABM, which is incredibly versatile, this is much more refined, five band EQ. Bass, mid, and treble. Something that you've seen a million times with two great little refinements. First of all, it's a low mid running at 240 hertz and a high mid, which is running at 1.5. If we move on from that, some other key features that you guys know from the Ashdown range are also featured on the Rootmaster. So, what are they? First of all, compression. One band, very musical, very user-friendly, tightens up the top end, doesn't suffocate the high end. Great, great component to have on the amplifier in this section. As we move on from that, we've then got that sub, the subharmonics, which we've seen on the ABM for years. In this case, it's absolutely identical. It's been ripped out of that chassis and put into the Rootmaster. The big difference? Well, now the drive function. It's a digital emulation as opposed to a natural drive that you see in the ABM in its big brother. Okay, moving on from there. Let's have a look and talk about the versatility of this amp. I said about this earlier on, this is a weekend warrior's absolute dream. Well, if you look at the back panel, that's actually echoed there as well. Obviously, speak on outs, which is really great, effects line and the foot switch, which we saw on the ABM. Okay. But what's the difference? Well, in this case, we've got a line in, which is paired with a headphone out. Now, if you know about your valves, you know that if you're using a valve head, you've got to connect to speak on, because otherwise, it's a safety habit, okay? It's an issue there. Then we're burning down your studio or your house. That's not the case with the Rootmaster. It doesn't need to be connected at all. You can disengage the power amp and then use the headphone out, so you can literally access the preamp as a modulation tool on your desktop. This is what the Rootmaster EVO2 range sounds like.